Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm really excited to show you our first 2022 F-150. And uh, I looked it over to see if there's any new changes for 2022. And there are just a couple little ones. Just so you guys know, there are some new packages for the 2022 model year, like the black appearance package. Uh, some new colors and some other colors are going away. I'm assuming there's gonna be some new packaging. I'll have to double check on the Ford website because as of filming this video, the 2022 build and price isn't even up yet. So that's kind of crazy how the 2022 is here, but you can't even build and price one on the Ford website, at least as of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, right off in the front, and by the way, I'm gonna go through this quickly because I have other Lariat F-150 videos, but we have LED uh, adaptive headlights, LED turn signal here, LED accent lighting, LED fog lights, they look really nice. Got the Lariat chrome package. So we have the chrome up here, the chrome down here. This one does have front parking sensors. Looking on the side here, we have these 20 inch wheels. They are 275 60R20s. Got a little Lariat badge on the side. This is star white, which looks fantastic in the sun. Hopefully you guys can see the flake. I love metallic colors because it just makes it look that much nicer. Crew cab truck, of course, four wheel drive with the FX4 off-road package. Chrome mirror caps, we have LED spotlights, LED turn signals. We have a 360 camera under here and we have a puddle light, which lights up the ground. Chrome running boards. Coming to the back here, we have all LED tail lights. We have the LED uh, brake light right here, LED turn signal, LED reverse light. Then we have LED surrounds, which looks really nice at night. But one thing I noticed for 2022, and this is a downside actually, if you guys can see here, unfortunately they made the license plate lights standard bulbs again. I don't know why they did this because I was really excited on 2021 F-150s because on the high-end ones, every single light is LED. But you can see here, we do have standard license plate lights again. I'll have to double check when we get more 2022s in to see if Platinums, Raptors, and all that have the same way. But at least on this Lariat, standard bulbs. Got a little chrome exhaust tip. Really good looking truck. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we're working with. All right guys, just pop the hood here. We do still have hood struts, so that's really nice. We do have the nice hood liner. So it looks like this is unchanged. This is the 3.5 twin turbo V6. Has 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. So it is uh, the top engine you can get in the F-150. There's no um, diesel anymore. And then I guess you can get the power boost, which is, I guess, technically better than this one, but um, it's still a 3.5 uh, twin turbo, the power boost is. And uh, this one, the MPG, we'll look at the window sticker in just a second. Come around here to the window sticker, it gets 17 city 23 highway 19 combined according to this you can check out the window sticker for yourself this one has lots of additional options on it star white is 795 i don't remember star white being that expensive before so i think star white might have gone up in cost uh, i'll have to double check on that one uh, moon roof this one has auto start stop removal so actually you save 50 dollars when you remove the auto start stop i'm assuming that's because of the chip shortage and all that other stuff Brake controller, FX4. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff on this one. This one has that new bed utility package, which includes box link, power tailgate, and tailgate step, and LED box lighting. So that's kind of nice. And then the 360 camera. They do have some new packaging for 2022, but like I said, since the building price is not up yet, you don't know what it is. There's that. And then MSRP on this one is 68,355. If you guys are curious to see what a Lariat's like when it doesn't have all these additional options on it, check out my video I did on a $50,000 Lariat because it still comes with quite a few things. All right guys, let's go ahead and hop inside here. We have smart key access on the front two doors. And then we also have that nice keyless entry pad. Open it up here. And this one has this interesting interior color. This is called a uh, Baja Tan. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if I'd get this one, but it does look uh, more unique than just having a black interior. But anyway, door panel is soft touch here, soft touch here. Uh, we, this one does have the Bang & Olufsen, uh, just the upgraded Bang & Olufsen, does not have the unleashed. We have three person memory seats, automatic up down for driver and passenger, and auto folding mirrors. We have a 10 way powered driver seat. You can adjust your pedals like this. We got our LED spotlights. This is to open up the tailgate, it is power. And then you have all your light controls and your power steering column. All right guys, let's go ahead and start this truck up here. Need some gas. I want you guys to focus uh, to see if you notice any differences on the 2022. 
because I've only noticed one on the inside, actually no, two on the inside, and I'll point it out to you guys in just a second. But looking at the steering wheel, looks the same, feels really good. This one does have a lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and a host of other safety features. It does have the digital gauges, of course. And then looking in the center here, this is where one difference is. So you can see the radio screen doesn't go all the way up to the top anymore and have the time in the corner over here, like on 2021s. So they put the time over here, and then this is like, I don't know, it doesn't go all the way to the top, which is kind of weird. But I think the reason why it's that way is because they changed the climate controls here. So you can see on previous F-150s, there'd be a temperature shown in each of these two things right here. So the temperature is now shown up here instead. So you can see the two sides instead of it being down here. So that's one little change that they did. I don't know why they did that, but I mean, that's just, I guess, how they chose to do it. And looking in here, we got our wireless charging pad, which is nice, two USBs. It does have the fold down console shifter, of course. I'll show you guys all the, uh, all the safety features here. So let's see, it has adaptive cruise control, speed limit assist, lane keeping system. Look at all this. So you're covered as far as driver's assist technology in this one. And then looking in here, they still have the light in this one, but I was so hoping that Ford would not do this on the F-150, but for 2022, no more glove box light. Used to be right here. Now there's just an open spot. So I'll have to double check on uh, Platinums and Limiteds to see if it's the same way, but before even XLTs would have a light in the glove box. Then looking over here, we have our 12 volt and uh, the house outlet. Looking at the top, we still have our auto dimming rear view mirror. We have a nice black headliner. This one does have the panoramic sunroof, which is not open right now. And then the power rear uh, window, of course, garage door opener and LED illuminated vanity mirrors. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see if they changed anything for the back. All right, guys, looking at the back door here, same nice soft touch materials as the front, looks pretty much exactly the same. Have these really nice leather tan seats in the back, got a full down center armrest. We got a 12 volt up here. We have two USBs and a house power outlet down there. Two air vents in the back, two map pockets on the back of the seats. So it looks like the back seat passengers have exactly the same stuff that they had before. Nothing that they changed for the worse and nothing that they changed for the better. All right guys, let me show you this power tailgate here. Since this one does have quite a few options on it, it has a power tailgate. It's a really cool uh, feature there. This one also does have a fold out uh, step and the handle that you can pull out so you can step inside the bed. Has the work surface right here with all the rulers and all the little compartments and everything. You got your tie down and bottle opener over here. You got more tie downs in the bed. And this is the five and a half foot box. It does have LED box lighting and a 400 watt outlet in there. It also has power up, so let me show you guys. You can do it on the key or you can just kind of lift it up and it'll take it the rest of the way. That's a really nice feature. Payload on this one is 1,639 pounds. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get going here. We're gonna take it on a quick little uh, spin to the front. I've already driven so many F-150s with 3.5, so I have other videos if you guys wanna see uh, more in depth on how it drives. But this video is mainly focused on the 2022 and if they did anything different. So we'll see if the driving or the transmission tuning or anything is different. So far, the transmission seems to be uh, tuned exactly how the previous gen is. Doesn't, you know, skip gears differently or go individually, anything like that. It feels smooth, just like every other F-150. All right, guys, we're gonna turn off onto the street here, see how it does. Went to second gear, that's kind of cool. Third, nice and smooth, very smooth. Take this corner here. Yeah, it handles it no problem. Just step on it just a little bit here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, these F-150s get up and go for sure. 500 pound-feet of torque. Think about that, 500, wow. And that's what you want in a pickup truck. You want the torque. But yeah, it's just such a smooth driving truck. And there was one little change that I noticed as I was driving. Because I went to adjust the air vent over here. There's no uh, open and close like on the previous uh, 2021 F-150. You just go all the way to the right to close it. So that's new. I keep wanting to say previous gen, but the previous model year F-150, 
um, you actually had a little uh, scroll thing that you can use to close the air vents. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know if you notice any changes that I missed. And uh, I will see you in the next video.